the next step in the process for configuring integrating sap with ldap is to create an rfc connection between the ldap system and the sap system to create the rfc connection the password the, uh, the transaction code is sm59 so go to transaction sm59 and click on the create icon uh give the rfc destination name uh, preferably you start the name with ldap underscore and give the server name of the ldap system in which or in this case is dev uh, dc03 now the collection because ldap system active directory system is going to be uh, a third party system the connection type will be tcp tcp ip type so the entered the connection type as t Uh, give the description, uh, whatever description you want to give, and then hit the enter key. Now click on the register program uh, radio button, and the screen will change a little bit. In the program ID field now, you use the register program ID name that you used in the first step when you used the ldap underscore rfc command. So we had used. the command ldap underscore hgs test there so we use the same name for the uh, here uh, if you scroll down a little bit and then go and enter the gateway host name and the gateway server name service name and that turns and click on save uh, let's do the test connection test so connection text this is successful so which means your ldap has been connected the sap has been i mean sap can now communicate with your ldap system now this is the second step the first step was to run the ldap program on the operating system level and the second step is to connect uh, start the connect establish a connection between the ldap system and the sap system by creating an rfc connection uh, that is what we have done in this step so the next step will be to configure uh, the uh, ldap so the uh, with the ldap configuration in sap so that we can test whether the information can be pulled from the active directory system that is the ldap system into sap system so in the next step uh, we will do that